Hi, I think this is the um, second video in the playlist on uh, working out the areas of sectors of circles. Um, what we said in the first video is the area of a circle is pi r squared. And what we're normally given is, or what we've been used to perhaps, is a circle that's got a radius, I think I used three centimetres. And you plug this number in, it'll give you the total overall area of a circle. Well, these questions are very similar. They are pitched at a, a star grade. And all you need to really appreciate is that we're dealing with a fraction of a circle. So let me give you that example. So what we've got here in this question is a sector like that. And this particular one has a radius of 15 centimetres. And the internal angle here is 140 degrees. OK, and what they've asked us to do is to calculate the area of this sector. Um, more typically, they tend, to, they tend to dress this up a little bit. It might be uh, some plot of land or it might be a, a piece on a jigsaw or something like that. But generally speaking, what we're looking to do is just take this formula and apply it to part of a circle. The reason you can do that is you can imagine that this, if this was an overall circle with a radius of 15, you could plug the number in and you would get your area. Well, in this particular case, we've actually got 140 out of 360 degrees. So actually, we've got a fraction of the circle. It's 140, and this line means out of 360 degrees overall. So that means that we can use the area equals a fraction of pi r squared. OK, well, if you start now putting these numbers in, you'll be able to then use the calculator and it will give you usually an answer um, that you can then round to something like three significant figures. And very typically with these type of questions, they'll ask you to give the final answer to three or two or three significant figures or two decimal places, something like that. Okay, so we got 140 over 360. Um, so I'm going to leave that as it is, and I'm going to put in pi. Now, pi on a calculator usually is pre-programmed, uh, particularly on, obviously on scientific calculators, but sometimes you might get that given to you as 3.142 or 3.14, something like that. And then I'm going to put in the r, which is the radius. Okay, now bearing in mind it's r squared, which means radius times radius. So you can either write it as r squared, or you can, sometimes I do it myself, I write it as 15 times 15, just to remind myself that it is radius squared. Okay. If you put all of that into a calculator, you're going to get the calculator, depending upon the make and the model, you'll get something like this. It'll say 175 over 2 pi. OK, well, because pi is fixed in the calculator, it simplifies it down to a fraction times pi. Now, you can press a button which is SD on my calculator, and what that'll do is convert it through to its decimal equivalent. So its decimal equivalent is a uh, very long, very boring number. It's 274.889 centimetres uh, squared. So, um, you know, I, I that's my calculator. Depending upon the value of pi that you've used, it might be slightly different. But essentially, to three, decim uh, to three significant figures, it's going to be 275 centimetres squared. Because what I do is I look at the third number, which is a 4. It needs to change because the fourth number is an 8, so this becomes 5. So the full answer to this question, the area of this sector of a circle, is 275 centimetres squared. Um, I hope that's okay for you. I appreciate I went through it fairly quickly. It is pitched at a, a star type uh, grade, um, but effectively, provided you appreciate it's a fraction of a circle and you use the area of a circle formula, it'll work out fairly well for you. Um, I hope that's helpful. Please do subscribe, add a comment below. I will always come back to you and I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video.